Hey guys, it's Kyle. Um, just doing an update video for you. Um, got a new shirt on that. I designed the logo there. So it's got my business name on the back. Um, I think the last time I did an update was shortly after Kate and I had broken up. Um, probably I think it was the weekend or the week after she left. So it's been, been a few weeks since I've made a video. Um, so I'm just going to do a few update things and Try to be more consistent about it. I say that, I think, just about every time, but we'll see. Uh, <laughs> I did end up going through a little bit of a depressive episode there for a few weeks um, after Kate left. It was, there was a lot of things kind of going on at once. Um, when I was with Kate, we were working on trying to combine things to get our... A kind of a family unit working um, so when she left that kind of destroyed that that dream there for a little bit um, I'm sure I'll work on that again in the future but yeah um, I threw out my back <laughs> um, so that was pretty painful um, and I was on medication for that for a little while and Let's see, what else? I had food poisoning like two or three times, at least twice over the summer. Um, I ended up getting poison ivy for like a month straight. Um, <laughs> I, I had a kidney infection that went septic because I didn't feel it. it like it didn't hurt or anything. Um, but when it did start hurting, I went to the hospital. And by the time I got to the hospital, it, it had already gone septic. So... Um, I went in through the ER and was admitted for about a week or so, I think I was in. I was on heavy antibiotics for a little while, um, but I'm good with that now. So, um, Also, when Kate left, um, I'd kind of been working on my dad bod a little bit. I'd gained a little bit of a weight, and so when she left, that just kind of dropped down um, because without the kids here, and without cooking for more than one person, I'm not eating as much and I'm not eating as regularly without the kids around. So, um, and that includes my, like my niece and my little sister and just all the kids. Um, when they're around, I eat more because they're always snacking, so I snack. Um, but I dropped a bit of weight. I have not dropped as low as I feared, which is good. Um, I'm maintaining a healthy weight about 140, bouncing between 140 and 145. I would like to get back up to 160, but, um, you know, as long as I don't go below 140, I'm, I'm happy with that. So, um, I've also taken up reading a lot more again. Um, I bought probably like 30 books or so, and I've read probably about a quarter of them. I've read at least eight, um, and I'd, I would be a lot further. I would be probably 20 or 25 books in by now, but I, in total, I spent probably about a month and a half in between the hospital and having poison ivy and just not wanting to move um, for various reasons. Um, so I'm working on a few. I actually picked up 17 of them today for 11 bucks. But not all of them were for me. Only, excuse me, only about seven. The rest are going to be for gifts and and other things. So, but still not bad. So I'm pretty happy. <laughs> um, going forward, right now it is it's almost Christmas, and my calendar's in the back there. Today I think it's the fourteenth. So, um. I had to look because I can't I can can't read the numbers in my video but so Christmas is next week um, I will be spending it alone again this year um, but this this year I have a plan though so it's different than the last couple of years um, I am going to see some family on the day but I'll mostly just be hanging out on my own um, the bees have kind of hunker down for the winter they're in their mock hibernation mode um i was able to check on them yesterday it was nice 
enough here. It was actually like 48 here yesterday. Um, it had a really chilly breeze, but the temperature was nice enough that I checked on. I just lifted the lid to see if they were still alive. And both hives are doing pretty good. The ones that I have in the backyard here um, uh, that I have easy access to, they're doing pretty well. I will have to feed for sure around March, April, and definitely keep an eye on it because with this warmer temperature, um, they're going to go through their food a lot faster. Their honey stores and any pollen and stuff, they're going to go through it a lot faster. Um, so they're going to need, and I always feed in the spring anyway, I feed a light sugar water just to give them a boost. But I plan on this year, well, next season, technically, this coming spring, I plan on doing sugar the sugar water with an in-hive feeder, a frame feeder that I really, really like. And also a pollen dry sugar feed mixture. Um, I don't know if I want to do the pollen patties because I've done those before. And some hives take to them really well and some hives don't don't even touch them and they end up rotting and getting all moldy. It's I, I don't really like that. But um, so definitely the dry stuff is what I'm going to do this spring. And base, if, if this spring is anything like last spring, it's going to be a crappy one anyway. Uh, last spring was so wet and miserable and it took so long for things to bloom. Um, I definitely am recommending people keep an eye on the food stores that their bees have, if they have bees. Um, on That's that on the bee business front. Um, oh, also my book, the book that I'm writing for Beekeeping Basics, is done. I am 100% done with it. I was dragging my feet for quite a while with the pictures. I just didn't want to put the energy into the pictures for doing it myself because I already draw so many other things. But when I tried to get somebody to help me out, I put out a, a post and a reach to have some people reach out, kind of show me what they could do and say if they wanted the job or not. To do. I was going to hire them to, or commission them to do a few drawings for me. But nobody fell, followed through, so um, I drew them myself, got it all done in about a day and a half, which kind of surprised me. I just kind of buckled down, and those were the that was the only thing that I worked on all day. <laughs> Excuse me. But it's done. It's ready for a final edit and print. There's a few formatting things that I want to do to it yet. Um, a couple of paragraphs I want to put together, a few things I want to space out. I want to do a final read, and it's ready for print. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, the sea glass jewelry stuff is doing pretty well. I have sold probably about 30 sets or so in the last month, um, which isn't too bad for what I have. Um, and I'm, I'm looking into a couple of different commission shops here in town to get them in the store. There's one in particular that has already agreed. I don't really know what their um, base rate is for a booth space, but um, it's in the works, so that's good. That way I won't be having to meet people. <laughs> they can just go right to the shop and pick it up, and I don't have to worry about it. Um, on the trans front, um, my surgery got pushed to... My hysterectomy got pushed to February, um, February 16th or 17th, one of the two, um, because I couldn't get a, a psychologist to give me a letter in time. Um, with COVID, a lot of the, everybody's either backed up or they're not expect, uh, accepting new patients, or if they are accepting new patients, there's such a long waiting list. Um, so I had to call around for about six weeks before I found somebody who could get me in. So they got me in. Um, I've been working with her, with her for the last month or so, at least. And things look pretty good to for her to give me a letter. I think the next time I see her is tomorrow. So um, I'm going to ask or bring it up then when she can start working on it for me. Because my surgery is in about two months. So I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Um... It's going to be painful and expensive, and I live alone, so it's going to be really painful. Um, I do have a few family members. I have two that have agreed to kind of come in and check on me uh, every other day. So I'm one, 
day one of them comes and the next day the next one and then so somebody's coming every day to just check and make sure I'm still alive um <laughs> I'm not really nervous about it I'm pretty excited I just kind of want to get it over with because it is it causes me a lot of pain and it's just not a good feeling um, psychologically it's not a good feeling emotionally it's not good and then physically with the pain that I get a lot from it especially if I am late with my hormones because sometimes things come up where I can't afford it at certain times or um, I'm on a work trip or something and I wasn't able to bring it with me and so I have to wait a little while and when my hormones kind of get wonky it makes things start activating and start hurting, so that's not fun. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to getting that out. Get it taken care of and call it good. <laughs> um, that's that. Let me check my list here real quick. I think with the Browns B service stuff, I am going to file my dis dissolution paperwork. And go back to an LLC for tax purposes. Or not, and I'm, at, I'm an LLC right now and I'm going to go back to a DBA for tax purposes. Um, which won't benefit me this year for, for tax reasons, but as long as I can get that done before the first. Um, next year for taxes, I can do different things. Um, there's just different stuff that applies. Um, other than reading a lot... And doing all of the sea glass stuff and the book and trying to prep everything for the spring season. Um, I really haven't had a whole lot going on. That's primarily been it. Uh, <laughs> so. Book, startup, mute. I am sending out Christmas letters for everybody who contacted the B service page this year. Um, there are a few that I know I'm going to miss because they either called me and gave me their address over the phone and I wrote it down in a different notebook that I don't have anymore. Um, it got lost in the move or it was <clears throat> um, somebody who emailed me and I don't have the emailed addresses. But pretty much everybody... Everybody else is, is getting a letter, um, to the best of my ability, anyway. I went through and wrote 93 of them. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So they're all going to go out on Friday. Um, they won't be there before Christmas. It'll be a little bit after Christmas, but hey, 93 letters in one week. That's... I should have been doing it all year, so I'm saving them up, but I didn't think about it until now, so <laughs> that was fun, but if you have any questions on B issues, um, FTM issues, uh, family stuff, counselor stuff, um, different rules and laws that you think I might know of, definitely let me know, um, like with my name chains stuff I did all of that in like a month I did it as a birthday present to myself it really wasn't that hard or, or expensive and everything went pretty smoothly um, the only thing that really was a hiccup was trying to get my social redone because um, but it was in right in the middle my heat just kicked on it was right in the middle of uh, COVID and the mail kept screwing up um, it got lost in the mail and so I had to uh, order a second one, which was technically my third in my lifetime that I've ordered because you get one when you're when you're born um, Or when your parents file your name um, So I was a little bit worried about them kind of suspecting that I was doing something weird with it or m well, My thing is I just didn't want anybody to steal it So I asked him I was like hey, you know can somebody meet me outside of your building like I will meet you like you can set it down on the sidewalk I will walk and pick it up. You can watch me pick it up. Like, just, I don't want this going through the mail, but it had to go through them. They insisted. Um, so that took about 
eight weeks, pretty dang close to eight weeks to get that. But other than that, and that was a male issue, um, which has been fixed for quite a while, so um, I don't expect that to be an issue for anybody else. Um, yeah, if you have anything else, just let me know. And I will, I'm definitely going to try to do this more often. Um, not daily, uh, but at least weekly. Uh, make it a more regular thing, so. I'll talk to you guys later.